Welcome back to Adventures with Lilu. It's August bank holiday and I'm setting off from my third wild camp, this time to the Peak District. I've got some new gear to test out and I'm hoping to explore the Mermaid's Pool, Kinder Downfall and Red Brook Scramble. This is my third wild camp and it held a whole new set of challenges. From stormy skies and heavy rain to the midges trying to eat me alive, this adventure was epic and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's go! Oh, this is killer. I was doing all right till I hit this. Oh, it's so steep. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's starting to level out. I think we have a heart attack. Wasn't prepared for that. Oh, it's a bit warm. <laughs> oh God. If we can hold the camera steady, that in the distance is Kinder Reservoir. And the mighty Kinder is behind. Whew. Oh my god. Oh, do not fall in this. <laughs> oh. Phew. So I've parked at Hayfield and I've taken the walk up towards Kinder Reservoir, which you can see just by me here. It's a nice path, but with a bit of a cheeky steep incline that I wasn't prepared for. I've not been this way before and the plan is to do a circular route, but there is really no plan. Um, it was all depending where I went today is whether I can get parked. I have managed to park at Hayfield, which is fine, which means I can stay overnight here. Um, but really it's a case of my pack is really heavy today. Again, I have taken stuff out. I have tried to lighten the load, but at the same time, I have bought some bits that are new to me, including the camera that I'm filming on today, which is a lot heavier than my phone, believe it or not. So that and the tripod, that's added a bit of weight. And I'll show you a few bits later that are new to me. Um, so I'm hoping to do a wild camp. The weather's not forecast to be brilliant, but we're just gonna play it by ear. Um, if it gets too bad, I'll have to turn around and come back. If not, I'll carry on. If the pack's too much, I'm literally just going to play it by ear. I have a plan without a plan again. I think that's the best way. It's quite busy today, obviously, with it being the Friday before August bank holiday. Uh, lots of people about, which is a little bit annoying. Because <laughs> I like to be on my own normally, but that's what you get for having your weekend off work on a bank holiday weekend. Now we're off the main path. We're still on a path. Um, there's not really anyone about. There's an older couple just taking that path that way. But it's nice to feel like I have the place to myself again. Get a little bit of peace and quiet. Just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs>
looks like a nice little bit of river, doesn't it? With a nice little rock to have some lunch on. I wonder if I can get down to it. Let's have a look. Not really gone very far, maybe two mile, but this weekend's all about just taking my time and just enjoying it rather than trying to get loads of mileage. So I think we'll stop and have something to eat and then uh, go and have a look at the, the woods just behind me. Hi. I really tried to reduce the weight in one sense. I left the bivy bag behind and I didn't bring as many clothes this time. I bought warmer clothes, but less of them. I've reduced things like toiletries and bits and pieces that I don't need. However, tonight I wanted to try something a little bit different and I was hoping to do more of a woodland camp, hopefully. And I have bought my bush box or fire box or uh, it's a one tigress. I'm not quite sure what I call it. I haven't used it before yet. Um, so, that's going to be interesting. That's why I bought my gas stove as well, <laughs> if all else fails. But I've got some nice shoulder pork to cook tonight. So I'm actually going to have that with some noodles. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out the bush box. I had a little go in my back garden, but um, I'm not great with making fire, but I want to learn. So I'm going to have a go. So basically, I parked somewhere back here. Um, I didn't park at the car park itself. Um, but I basically walked all this way up here, followed the path, it's really simple to follow, all the way around here, there to the edge, and that's when I turned along here, and that's where I saw the little mushrooms, and I'm about, I'm about here at the moment, I think. So we're heading up this way, and this is potentially where I'm going to be camping tonight. The mermaid's pool is there, and then the famous Kinder Downfall is up there. I'm hoping to take the Red Brook Scramble route up, go up to Kinder Down Downfall along the ridge, and then come back down this way, back to the car. That's the plan. Um, we'll see how we get on though. But yeah, we're here at the moment. It's half past two, and my dinner's too hot to eat at the moment, which is why I'm looking at the map. So, without being here before, I was kind of thinking of camping in here tonight. <clears throat> I thought I've got a water source, sheltered from the rain. Obviously I need to check the trees and all that situation. But I thought this looked, this looks quite cute. It's a nice little glade. Obviously not till later because people might still be passing through. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd hang around here a little bit and uh, see. People obviously do camp here actually because you can see, see there's uh, camping fire pit areas and stuff. So that's kind of a good sign in a way. Um, but yeah, this is what I was thinking anyway. Uh, I mean, what a view. It's not a sunrise view, but how pretty is that? So I'm gonna have a little explore around here and see if I can find somewhere ideal for camp. And, uh, and then I might be able to dump the bag down and walk a bit further without it. I don't know. So I'm gonna just carry on for a little bit, see what I can find. 
So where does the path go? Hmm. So this is rather nice. And I'm just looking up there, the way up to the top of Kinder Plateau. And right in the distance, I can see people right on the top, walking along the top there. That is kind of where I'm aiming to go tomorrow. With the weight on my back, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have a little bimble up there um, and see what it's like. And then I might just come back down here in a bit to set up camp, because this, this is a lovely little stretch of water. Those clouds, the sky really angry. <sighs> Look how pretty it is. It's all pink from the heather. It's looking at autumny now. The ferns are starting to crisp up and go golden. It's a lovely time of year and this water is so tempting. I want to see if there's a little plunge pool or something further up. Let's go and have a look. I thought it might just be a little shower, but I'm getting soaked. So I'm gonna, I've just put the waterproof case on things. I'm gonna get back towards the woods and set up the tarp as a shelter. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm finally <laughs> in my already wet waterproof trousers because I actually got the waterproofs out to put on the ground to put my stuff on. And then the rain just sort of came. And I wouldn't say it came from nowhere. To be fair, I could see it was coming, but I just thought I'd have a little bit of time play. Problem is now I've got to get back to <laughs> back to the woods and the rocks that I crossed to get over here are quite slippy in the wet so I'm really gonna have to as much as I'm getting soaked it's not cold um, but I am gonna have to take my time so I don't end up in the <laughs> end up in the river. Um, I mean I wanted to but not dressed like this so I'm gonna have to start finding somewhere to set up camp I think. Uh, I don't think anyone else is going to be coming coming down here tonight. There's people up there probably getting soaked like me. I would not want to be up there right now. It's black as hell. These, these are also death traps. They are like the spindliest styles I've ever seen and with the weight on my back it's, yeah, so they're not the easiest uh, to get over. Oh my god, I can't get across. How did they get across this earlier? Um, so boggy. I'm actually going to try pitching the tarp first so I've got somewhere to put like all my stuff um, so things are going to stay dry and then I can quickly pitch the tent um, either underneath the tarp or like next to. Um, yeah I'm just going to go and get some get under the trees it'll hopefully not be quite as bad under there. To be honest the bad weather's not frightening me it's not put me off really because after my last adventure in Wales, I know I can do a lot more than I think I can. So, whew, just got to get back across this river a couple of times and I did slip. Actually, I nearly went in on my way up here. So, but like I say, now the rocks are a bit wet. Well, a lot wet. They're a lot, they're a lot slippier. Let's hope we don't go in. Ooh, how did I get across here earlier? I must have just, Stepped on that one, I guess. Look, you see? Oh, oh no! Oh god! Right. Oh well. <laughs> At least I didn't fall in. I can cope with my boot getting wet. So I'm almost there anyway. Look at the rain coming in now. So I'm gonna. Oh look! <laughs> look up there. There's some cows. Uh, I think I'm gonna set up camp here. It's nice and flat semi sheltered under the under the under the under the rain under the trees uh, yeah I'm gonna set up camp here so this is quite cozy actually now I've got the tarp up um, I mean it's too early to pitch the tent but at least I've got somewhere dry to sit and the kit is not getting any more wet than it was 
Good job I wasn't having a swim up there because um, all the stuff would have got wet. And I literally just got these out to um, put my stuff on anyway, so all good. Um, it's probably not the strongest setup, but it will do. There's no wind at the moment. The fog is coming in over over Kinder over there, so um, not sure whether this weather's just going to pass on. It's a bit of bright. It's brightening up over there actually. Hopefully it's going that way. But um, but yeah. So this tarp, it's not an expensive. DD tarp like people advertise on YouTube quite a lot um, I don't really want to pay a fortune for something like this so this one's just off Amazon I think it's called a Hikeman tarp there's different sizes I think this one's 140 by something um, but yeah I'll put the link in the description as usual so you can have a look at it yourself and I'm just using my little trekking poles um, here they're on 135 centimeters and I've just attached a couple of guy lines to it and bingo, got a little shelter because like I said, I don't want to get my kit wet um, and because I just chucked it in the bag really quickly <coughs> I can now get stuff a bit more organised um, but I think I probably will stay here um, I don't think it's a problem to be here I think it's a known place for camping so I've just seen a couple of people go past and they were like, hi, I'm not even phased they're heading up to Redbrook probably to do the scramble but as I say it's very slippy and I've now got wet boots so I fell in the water but uh, but yeah I'm just gonna chill here a bit actually if it brightens up I could go back up there it's not far the two guys that passed me earlier they're coming back this way I wonder whether I'm in their camp spot Ooh. spray it on my clothes I might stop them Right, <coughs> they're not going to bite me now. <coughs> Great, I smell like citronella. I think I'm safe though. Okay, so I am not bushcraft professional. In fact, I've never done it before. But I have got my Swiss Army knife and I do see some birch. And I do believe this help start fires it's quite flammable yes it's a bit wet but it should still light so I'm going to see if I can find some little bits of dry wood that I can burn and um, if I have to I'll take some old branches off the trees because at least they'll be a bit drier with them not being on the ground in the rain so let's see what I can find so this branch it's quite young, but at least that branch there, it's its dry because it's sheltered from the tree. So I think I'm going to take it because I don't have a lot of choice. I need to have some wood to be able to cook my dinner tonight. Well, there's a little branch there. I'll have that one. It's wet, but... Hmm. Oh, look. So apparently when it rains, the slugs come out to play and these little guys are on the silver birch and they're all kind of silvery but look there's loads of them there's one here as well but there it is and now there's one under here as well and there's a little one where is he under there there's another one here sliding around where is he there he is it's like the silver birch slugs You're a big lad. <laughs> I think I'm gonna eat him. No, not tonight. So it's five o'clock and the fog is clearing and we have got some, okay, it's not blue sky, but there's definitely some sunshine there. It's probably the most sunshine we've had all day actually. I wonder if that's all the rain we're going to get. I must say the water's not quite as tempting now. I've gone a bit chilled from just wearing this with a, a t-shirt on underneath. So um, I'm not quite sure what to do now with it being five o'clock. Is anyone else going to come down this track? Can I leave my kit here and go for a wander? I don't know. Oh, just need a bit of that. Oh, it makes it so much better when the sun's shining. 
Beautiful. Okay. Um. Ooh. So sunny. Can't see anyone else on the top of Kinder Plateau anymore. That sky is still, I'm not being funny, but that, that sky, that sky still looks threatening for more rain actually, and it's, it's, it is heading this way. I might set the tent up now while it's not raining. I know it's only five o'clock, but oh, I don't know what to do, not sure what to do. top to face this way just to give me a bit more shelter here. The midges are out in force tonight, it's disgusting. Um, and it's stopped raining for the last hour I think so I was able to get the tent up. I wanted to get it up before it started raining because it was a bit of a faff. Um, so yeah I'm just going to get the inside of the tent now set up um, and then I'm going to get the bush box ready and hopefully no more rain, but I am going to get some more mosquito spray because this is horrible. Okay, so I've managed to get the Trekology sleeping mat finally blown up in there. Um, this is my Rab Ascent 800 or 800 Ascent sleeping bag. It's a down bag, so it needs to fluff up a little bit. So I'm going to quickly just shove it in. The clothes I've just put in there as well. So I'm going to set up my little one tigress firebox, bush box, whatever you want to call it. It's budget friendly, I didn't pay a lot for it. I can't remember how much it was, but I will put it in the description below. Um, <clears throat> I've only used it briefly in the garden at home to test it, so uh, it's already warped a little bit, so I don't know whether that's going to be a problem, but I'm going to set this up. It takes me ages because it's all in little pieces. I've got to try and remember how to do it now, so bear with me while I put this together. Yep, so there you go. The One Tigress little stove, little wood burner mini thing. Um, I've got the grill on the top tonight because I'm going to be doing some pork shoulder, if I can get the fire to light and burn well enough. These two are also like little extra things. Don't come at me in the comments, I've not used it before other than at home briefly in the garden. Um, I'm just really come. I brought it with me just to have a bit of a play with it and see if I can see uh, if I can get it to work really. So anyway, so all the damp wood is just smoking really bad. <laughs> I'm trying to dry it out so then I can shove it in afterwards. But oh, is it raining again? So I bought some pork shoulder and I'm just putting the seasoning on it and just rubbing it in. Let's see if I can cook one at least. And I just keep shoving bits of semi-dry wood in there. It's um, there is some heat. It might be cooking. I might end up with food poisoning, but we'll see. We'll see. If there's any room, I can shove that in there as well. This is a completely different camp to the last one I did um, in Wales. Um, I've not walked as far, for starters, um, and that's fine, it's not always about distance, it was more, I just wanted to practice 
the actual camping side of it really setting up the tent having a go with the tarp which you know it's not too bad it's only a basic tarp and I haven't done my guy lines probably I know but you know it works um, and it gives me a bit more shelter if it rains so this pork looks like it's not far off but whether it's cooked on the inside I'm not sure I'm gonna start getting <laughs> it's so smoky I'm gonna start getting my plate and bits and pieces ready my boots feel wet uh, for the first time I've actually got damp boots I mean one foot went straight in the water um, and then of course I was in the long grass um, trying to get the wood earlier and my boots got got quite wet then so I'm hoping they'll dry out maybe I should put them by this fire anyway I'm gonna carry on and um, hopefully have something to eat soon first one you know what Very good. Yeah. It's so good. Mmm. Look. Is that... uh, there we go. You see? It's cooked. Mmm. It's so nice. Mm. I'm just boiling, boiling some water to make my super noodles and a hot chocolate. Mm. So I know all of you lot are probably shouting at your TV screens or phone screens right now saying that I'm doing everything wrong with my little fire but the thing is I have had no one to show me anything and I'm literally just finding my own way and just having fun and no it's probably not the right way to do things and yes I could probably can improve and learn a lot but the fact is I'm out here and the fact is I'm just doing what I want to do and having fun with it so yes I know I'm not doing things right but is there any harm to it really so yeah I'm staying warm as well actually it's actually it's actually burning quite well it's keeping me warm so I've burnt all the bits of wood now and I'm just enjoying it so is there really a right or wrong way to do things I don't know but anyway I'm always happy to receive advice so don't be scared to comment um, it's just that I know I know I'm not doing it right and it's okay. I'm hoping my little fire is going to dry my feet out a little bit. I'm just burning all the wood that I brought with me. I might as well because I won't need it tomorrow and I want to just get rid of the weight. And I've just stuck a few branches on that I had as well just to keep it going. Um, and yeah, it's worked quite well actually. I'm eating my super noodles and then in a bit I'm going to have a hot chocolate. Um, it's actually turned out to be a really nice evening. I think I'm still camped on a slope again, just very slightly downhill this time, so I might actually sleep the other way, but so far, everything's turned out all right. We had that rain, which made me set up my tent early, but actually, so what? This adventure has been completely different so far. It just has a completely different feel to it, being in the Peak District and not, and not Wales and having people around you, which, as you know, I'm not keen on, but actually, we're all here for the same reason, I think. So um, you just have to kind of go with it, don't you? So I've had my dinner, the fire's going out, it's going dark. Um, I'm just having a hot chocolate and then I'm gonna finish tidying up and I'm gonna get in the tent and stay warm because I'm really warm now. The fire's been quite a success. I know I didn't do it properly, but it served a purpose. It cooked my food and it's kept me warm tonight. So I'm really pleased actually. Um, so I feel quite warm at the moment, but it's starting to, starting to get cold. The, the clouds over there, over Kinder Scout, they're really coming down now and they're moving at quite a pace. So I'm glad I didn't camp up at the mermaid pool because I think it would have been quite damp and cold up there. I'm actually happy to be in the valley down here. The only thing is down here, it's quite commonly used. There are people leaving traces of being here, which is quite sad. There's, there's rubbish in the, the bush over there. There's even um, a pint of milk in the river and it's in date. So somebody's left it quite recently and they're obviously coming to use it again which is quite a clever idea, but it's not, 
it's not ideal really is it so you know but it, the rain came down I decided I'd better put the tarp up to keep my stuff dry which worked and then it got to a point where I thought you know what, I'm just going to pitch the tent now which I'm, I'm actually glad I did because if I'd have gone any further like I say it looks like it's going to be really cold up there so um and actually I've tested out the tent in the rain and it seems waterproof as is this little hikeman tarp that I've never used before I mean I could do with a bit of practice putting tarps up I'm not going to lie I'm not very good with tying the guy ropes and stuff like that but you know that's been a success and the little burner fire thing's been a success the other thing I'm just waiting to use now um, I want to test out this new torch that I've got my other torch was really really crap um, there was absolutely no beam on it at all I couldn't tell the difference whether it was on or off to be quite honest so I've got this one and it's from Trust Fire and it's a T11R so what's great with this one is the fact that not only is it 1800 lumens it is mega bright as you can see how bright it is but it's got a really focused beam as well so it the actual beam itself does stretch quite far into the distance really lights stuff up which I'm really pleased about it's also got another button here that changes the settings you've got three strengths of brightness as well which is really good it's also waterproof and I can vouch for that because I did drop it in the water earlier and it's also drop proof up to a meter high which again I can prove because I, I dropped it in in the water and it still works um, it's not the lightest torch I'm not gonna lie but it does have this nifty little clip here that I had it clipped to my rucksack today which was quite handy and you can also plug it in here to charge it up so I like it and I just thought I'd share it with you because I am waiting for it to go properly dark and I will be using it tonight because as you know I don't really have a, a light in there so I won't be able to see anything but um, yeah I'm really impressed with it actually so I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can check it out if you're interested there's also a discount code for 10% off if you want it like with everything I use I put a link in the description in case you're interested in what I use most of it is budget stuff I'm not gonna lie um, most of the links are Amazon um, it's not always where I get them from but it's just to show you the product so you can actually have a look at the product in more detail um, and, and see what I'm using um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to actually testing this little torch out tonight. Um, but other than that, I'm going to finish my hot chocolate and then I'm going to crawl into my tent and zip it up and try and stay warm tonight because um, I don't think it's going to be as cold as Wales was or certainly it won't feel as cold because I don't feel cold at the moment. But sitting on this damp floor, I'm still in my waterproof so I've put my fleece on. Um, but other than that, it looks like it is going to be quite damp tonight judging by the clouds over there. And there's no sunset so i might as well call it a day once i finish my hot chocolate and i'll see you guys in the morning let's hope i don't freeze to death i've got my lovely thermal socks on i've got my thermal leggings on and this fleece top i haven't got my down jacket on because i didn't think it was going to be that cold tonight so i'm hoping once i've zipped my sleeping bag up tight around my head um i should be all right i need to remember to put my earplugs in though because those airplanes going over every five minutes doing my head in I'm such a lightweight. It's about quarter past nine. Um, but yeah, anyway, good night. Morning campers. It's 6.30am. And it rained a little bit in the night. But other than that, I've had loads of nice sleep and I'm so warm in this bed that I ended up having to take all my extra layers off. It's not raining now, but the trees keep dripping water on the tent, so... I don't want to get up. Let's have a look. Ooh, tent soaking. Ugh. Hmm. Morning. <laughs> the tent is soaked through. It's nice and dry in here. It's nice and warm and dry in here. But everywhere's soaking. So this is not going to be pleasant. Um, I don't think it's going to be safe for me to go up there via, especially via Redbrook Scramble, with all this wet, heavy gear. It'll be really slippy and I'm not going to be able to see anything when I get to the top by the looks of it anyway. So what I'm going to do is get myself sorted. I'm in no rush um, and I'm going to pack stuff down and then I think I'll sit under the tarp anyway and have my breakfast. So yeah, we'll assess things once uh, I'm up and I've got um, some of the bits packed away because at the moment it's just a big wet mess. <laughs> Not in here, in here's fine. 
I don't really want to get out to be quite honest but I bet my boots are really cold and damp as well actually yeah yeah they're not pretty I hope you all slept well I did I woke up once because I needed to pee um, other than that though I, I was really warm so it must have been last time must have been because I got myself really cold um, that's why I was cold um, because this time I was so warm I had to strip all my clothes off so <laughs> packing away and I hate packing away in the rain even more it's not raining now but everything is soaked through I'm just gonna put all my wet gear in the bag pack it as best I can and make my way back down towards Kinder Reservoir I think and, uh, and call it a day as far as the hiking goes um, my boots are soaking on the outside and they feel cold and damp on the inside but I don't think they are actually wet so that's that's good but I am in full waterproof because just everything I touch is soaking at the moment disappointing that I haven't managed to do a decent hike um, I've come about I think I looked on the map it's about three mile from the car I think um, but I don't think there's any point in going up high when there's no views it's a complete whiteout up there um, and as I say all my gears all wet anyway so it's not very pleasant everything's all mucky I feel mucky so but it was still good to get out and uh, you know it was a success so I've not had breakfast either so I'm, I thought I'll make my way down and maybe stop stopping a little bit and have something to eat I think I'm leaving at the right time because look how dark it's getting it's not very pleasant so we're just going to carry on alive in these waterproofs can't wait to get them off now oh. although it'll probably add extra weight won't it to my bags but breakfast. I'm going to have a Quaker Oats So Simple and I'm going to have a hot chocolate. It feels like it's raining but never mind. Hopefully it won't be a lot. How typical is this? As soon as I'm back down the sun is out and it's beautiful. It's 11 o'clock and do I regret not pushing on? No because at the time it would have been treacherous going up the, at the Redbrook scramble in that weather and there was nothing to see on the top so it's just one of them things isn't it so I've made it back towards Kinder Road where the car is parked and I'm going to leave the video there because I'm back in civilization. thank you so much for watching I know it probably wasn't the epic adventure that I was expecting and probably you weren't either but um, that's how it goes just like it started sun shining. Now I'm on my way home, but again, these things happen. It just means I'm eager to go again. So on my next day off, I'll be heading up to the Peak District for a more simple, simply packed day hike. 
so I can actually get scrambling and get up onto the top and have a bit of fun rather than lugging weight along like a pack horse. So as I say, thank you so much for watching once again and I shall see you on the next adventure. Bye.